Jessica, is everything okay? Um, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Oh my God. What's going on? I've had the worst week. I mean, my dad's been really, really sick, and um, I just uh, found out that uh, my dog is dying too. I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. I'm going to be okay, but it just sucks because I know my dad's going to heaven, but Rex is going to dog heaven, and they're just never going to see each other, and that's what's like really sad. Yeah, I can see how the thought of that happening would make one sad. And sure, on Halloween, all our souls will reconvene here on Earth and we'll see each other again, but I don't know, that's only once a year, you know? It's not enough. Oh, God, I'm upsetting you with all this emotion. No, not at all. Uh, some of your beliefs are unfamiliar to me, <laughs> but I can also see that you're extremely sad right now, so I won't do what I would normally do if someone said something like that. <sighs> it's just I wish I could use my god wish to turn Rex into a human and send him to human heaven, but I can't. I'm sorry, your god wish? Yeah, the wish god grants you when you go to heaven. What religion does that- It just sucks you know that you only get one god wish and I have to use mine on something else. I think if God can grant wishes, probably God could grant more than one. Don't be insane, Brennan. There are infinite people in the world. God can't grant more than one infinity of wishes. First of all, none of that's obvious. Second of all, there aren't infinite people. Third of all, you're making metaphysical claims that you don't have any way to back up. And fourth, why wouldn't you use your one God wish to save your dog? Last week, my brother was killed in a hit and run. <laughs> oh my god. I am so sorry. I, I, I'm so, so sorry. Everyone knows when you die on the road, you go to car heaven. Car heaven. So I have to give him my god wish. Of course you do. That is a perfectly noble thing to use your god wish for. Thanks. Only a pedantic, uncaring nerd would choose this moment to interrogate the fascinating knot of tangled dream logic surrounding your deeply held convictions. I was talking to my psychic, my medium, my astrologer, and my auger. Auger? Someone who defines the future from the flight patterns of birds. Naturally, continue. They all tell me that I can use crystal magic to cure my dad's cancer. And I'm like, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Right? And that's crazy. Hello, cancer is a living organism. You can't use crystal magic to destroy life. Swing and a miss. I just wish I could do something, you know? But if I use any more of my The Secret powers, I have to give my firstborn to Ahura Mazda, God of Light. And I just don't think I'm ready to start a family right now, you know? I do know. Man, I mean, thankfully the ghost in my house died, so I can at least get some sleep. I just feel hopeless. I don't know, do you have anything you believe that helps you get through times when you don't think you can carry on? Sure, yeah. I don't know that I believe in anything supernatural, but I believe that you know, every day you wake up and you have a chance to be kind. Uh, in a way, the actions we take in life live on long after us, and I guess I get strength from thinking that the things I do maybe leave the world a brighter, kinder place than it was when I found it. Wow. Thanks, Brennan. I needed that. Anytime. <whistles> Crazy. Hey guys, it's Brennan from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun stuff, and please keep watching, because if you stop watching, I start to vanish. You get it? I'm not really real. I'm just a thing on your screen. <laughs> Don't forget me!